and the deer and the antelope play. And who could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider? With his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, All-American Boy. Cleopatra? No, no, I, I, I thought I'd take a nap. Mm. What are you trying to hide? Nothing, nothing. Oh, got a new girl, huh? No. It's a package for your birthday. Well, I thought we decided not to exchange gifts. Yeah, I know, but well, you're always doing things for me and, and teaching me things, and well, it just doesn't even out. So? But we made an agreement. And you know I don't expect any reward for instruction. Oh, I, I didn't mean it that way. It's just that, well, just like one of those things you taught me that really came in handy. It really saved my life one time. Hello, Dickie. Shucks, I thought I caught you napping that time. Don't ever come that close to a man when you're holding him up. He may know how to take your gun away from him. How'd you do it? Well, hold me up again and I'll show you. Slow motion. <clears throat> Stick him up? All right. Right forearm. Crosses over and gets rid of the danger of the gun. Here. Yeah. Slide down, catch the wrist, cross over with your punch, come right back up into a hammer lock. Here. Hello, Dickie. It's a good thing I carried this thing on an empty chamber. Hey, where'd you get the wanted posters? The sheriff gave them to me. Said for us to watch out for these fellas. 
Huh. Sid Naylor. Phil Morgan. And Herb Torrey. Robbery, murder, and arson. Nice guys. Coincidence? I am the Range Rider. Gee, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Range Rider, but I never expected to meet you. Well, meet my sidekick, Dick West. Hi. What's your name? Edward Willoughby Carlton III. The multimillionaire? He's my dad. Those guys are trying to grab me, Mr. Range Rider. They hit Horace over the head. Who's Horace? Not Horace. Horace. He's our camp cook. Well, maybe we'd better go back and try to find Horace, huh? Not okay. Horace. Horace. Oh. It's Lisa, it's Lisa. Your brother's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Yeah, I stopped to tighten my cinch and two guys snuck up on me. Eddie, thank goodness you're safe. The range rider showed up just in time. Gosh, sis, imagine. Being rescued by the Range Rider. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And Mr. West. It was wonderful of you both. Of course, Father will want to reward you. Well, that won't be necessary. Horace, did you get a good look at the kidnappers? No, sir. Never had a chance. That's too bad. Miss Carlton, I think you'd better notify your father. The kidnappers are liable to try to get Eddie again. But Father's in town. He's got poison ivy. Horace? Yes, sir? Would you mind riding in, notifying the sheriff, telling Mr. Carlton what's happened? Sure, I'll be glad to. Thank you. Dick, you stay here. Don't let Eddie out of your sight. I'm going to go back and see if I can't do a little trailer. I've got an idea. If there's any trouble around here while I'm gone, I'd like for you to send me an Indian smoke signal. I want you to build your fire on top of that hill. Tell you what, sit right there. You watch everything I do, and I'll show you just how to build it, OK? Take some green. That'll give you lots of smoke. Take your blanket, cover it all up so it can't get out. Okay? When you think it's full, open it up and come out. Now, you think you can do it? Up on that hill, you'll have an updraft. That's why they always build them on a hill. That shoots it up, all right? Got it. Now, remember, I'm dependent on you. Yes, sir. Well, the boss finds out you two messed up on getting the kid. Well, what could we do? We almost got our hands on him until a couple of guys showed up spitting lead. Those two guys, for your information, are the Range Rider and Dick West. Range Rider? Yeah, he brought Eddie back into camp and sent me to warn the sheriff while he backtracked on your trail. You two better get him before he gets us. Don't worry. Right on to camp. Watch your chance to grab either the kid or the girl. Dick West is guarding, but don't worry, I'll take care of him. You don't have to worry about those kidnappers, Miss Lisa. I've had plenty of experience with people like that. Why, why don't you go out and play, Eddie? At one time, I was cornered by three outlaws. 
Nate. Here, Eddie. Go catch some fish. Some big ones. Let me see. I was cornered by three outlaws. They tried sneaking up on me, but I've developed sort of a sixth sense and... Go chop down a tree for some killing wood. Where was I? Oh, yeah. They tried sneaking up on me, see? But I don't even believe an Indian can sneak up on me without me knowing it. They... Let's move in the shade. Oh, that's a good idea. Those three outlaws tried it, but I was ready. No! No! Daddy! Why, you little lip, I'll tan your hide! Go find something to do, Eddie, but don't leave camp. Okay. He's a holy terror, but I'm fond of the little brat. Oh, that mess. I'd better go clean that up. Anybody can fall on that guy before he'd ever know it. We better go up in the hill and get a fire ready to light, just in case. Someone just rode off. Look. We got Eddie. If you want him back, put 50 grand in small bills under the log by the crossroads oak. Be sure and come alone. If you bring the law, you won't see the kid again. We've got to find the range rider. Come on. Never mind him now. Where's Eddie? Dave got him. Here's the ransom note. They hit Mr. West over the head just like they did Horace. If you bring the law, you won't see the kid again. You and Dick take this to your father in town. Tell him to comply with the instructions in the ransom note. Only bring the ransom money to me. Where'll you be? I'm going back to camp. I'm going to make this guy talk. Get him. Your hat. Help! Get out of here! Help! Help! Get me out of here! Come on, you! Stop! Get your head off out of here. Nobody's yeah. gonna hear you. Yeah. Teach you to mind. Get in there and stay there. You show your head and I'll whop you. Did you get the kid? Yeah, he's in there. Hey, where's Herb? The range rider nabbed him. You're kidding. Hey, what if he talks? Don't worry, he won't. Horace will see to that. Stop 
plastic powder and he tried to blow me up. Let me at him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Break your stupid little head. You can't sock him. He's worth 50000 on the hook. <laughs> Now, I'll just ask you one more time. Where's Eddie? Who's in this besides you and Sid Naylor? There's got to be somebody else. Neither one of you got brains enough to cook up a kidnapping. Miss Lisa! Miss Lisa! I never got to tie my horse bolt and threw me my head, but... Who's he? One of the kidnappers. The other's got away with Eddie. Eddie? to stay in town helping round up a posse. And as soon as we get Eddie back, they go into action. My horse is over in the trees. Get him and beat it. He went by me running and I fired. I'm a no good shot anyhow. I don't know how I plugged him. Well, where'd he get this knife anyway? Well, he must have had it hit up his sleeve and cut himself loose with it. I don't know. Well, there's nothing we can do for him now. Let's get this money to the kidnappers. I'll take him. No, no, that's my job. Well, what about me? I know this country like the palm of my hand. I think it's a good idea. Put this money under the log with the big oak at the crossroads. Sure thing. Just leave it to me. Have you gone crazy? Letting that big dumb glue carry all that money? Nope. He's the brains behind the gang that kidnapped Eddie. What? Sure. Look, well, number one. He said he didn't know anything about using a gun. Yet he had his gun tied down like a professional gun slick. Number two, this knife that Herb cut himself loose with came from a sheath in his gun belt. Then why didn't you arrest him? Because I want him to lead me to Eddie. Oh, he's sending smoke signals. Why, you little brat, out! Boy! Boy! Am I glad to see you. Is the range rider with you? You're in for quite a surprise, kid. You got the 50,000? Sure. The range rider gave me it himself, just for the asking. <laughs> Horse! I thought you were my pal. You're nothing but a big bum. Wait till the range rider finds out that you've been causing all the trouble. Oh, shut up, kid. We're not going to give him the chance. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. We better scram out of here. I don't want that bread on my trail. The horses, they're getting away. I'll get them. You can't touch me. I'm worth 50,000. Not now, you ain't. We got the 50,000. Now I can well the daylights out of you. Oh, 
Now get up. Get up and put up your hands. Turn around. Let's go, horse. Daddy! Hey, look what I caught with that gun trick you showed me, partner. Well, good for you, Dickie. Take him up and let him join his two partners. Right. Gosh, Dick, you should have seen the Range Rider fight. Boy, did he lay him cold. Look, young man, if you think I was fighting because I liked you, you're badly mistaken. I had to fight because a certain young man I know didn't obey his sister and stay in camp. I'm afraid Eddie doesn't know what obey means. I do, too. It means doing something you don't want to do, but somebody bigger than you makes you do it. I'm afraid you're wrong, Eddie. The word obey means to hear. Listen. If you listen to what people are trying to tell you, you'll find out that they're not just trying to show their authority. They're trying to teach you to be a man, to train you for the future. And don't want you ever to forget it. Understand, partner? Okay, now you pull on that while I open this. Gentlemen, I don't know how to thank you for saving my boy. I'd be proud to shake your hand if it wasn't for this blasted poison ivy. <laughs> but when you come to New York, I'll see that you get the key to the city. I'll give you my card. Oh, Eddie, uh, fetch me my card case. I'm sorry you won't accept a reward. I'd like to do something in return for... Uh, Eddie, did you hear what I said? Here you are, sir. Thanks. Uh, give one of my cards to the range rider. Yes, sir. Here you are, sir. Why? He... he obeyed me. And he, he said, sir. What did you do, hypnotize him? No. I think all he needed was somebody to set an example for him. I, I guess I had that one coming all right. Eddie, when you grow up, I want you to be like the range rider. Range rider said if I work hard, I grew up to be like you, Dad. We'll both work hard for that, son. Hasta la vista. Adios. And that's just another example. You save everybody's life, you get Eddie and his dad all straightened out, and then you turn down the reward. Just being able to help Dickie is reward enough. Sure, I know, but, well, don't you see, I, I felt I just had to get you something to sort of th say thanks for all the things you've done for me. And, well, it's nothing, it's just a jacket. Go on, open it up. I said it was nothing, Dick, and you aren't kidding. After all the trouble I went through, and I forgot to put it in the box. <laughs> you see what I mean? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even know how to walk. Some things take a little bit longer time to learn, Dickie. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.